A shortage of volunteers is forcing the Kiwanis Club of Oak Bay to give up control of the Kiwanis Pavilion. That's a complex care facility for seniors. Now, the Kiwanis built that care home nearly 30 years ago, and its volunteer board has governed operations ever since. Over the past three decades, though, membership is half of what it used to be, and the average age of the Kiwanis members is now 70. Mary Beth Burton has more on the future of the pavilion itself and the future facing community service groups. There are 10 small dining rooms for residents at the Kiwanis Pavilion. Residents live in neighborhood groups. It was a groundbreaking approach to elderly care when the Oak Bay Kiwanis Club built the light care facility nearly 30 years ago. So the residents here uh, were very active. We were able to run a tuck, tuck shop, a happy hour, put on events like St. Patty's Day. But over the years, the pavilion evolved to complex care with a focus on dementia patients. Now the facility, funded by VHA but run by a volunteer Kiwanis board, is looking to hand over power in the next 18 to 24 months. It's nonprofit to nonprofit is is would be the, the way that th that we see it happening, but it's too early at this point to know what our options are going to be. The Kiwanis Club hopes that the transition will be slow and gradual to whomever takes over ownership here, and they also say they hope there is no impact on the 122 seniors who call this place home. The new operator would likely run similar seniors' facilities. Uh, how can we create the, um, it sounds like a buzzword, but the economy of scale to um, make our um, public health care, uh, long-term care more um, uh, cost effective. Why is the Kiwanis Club walking away? Their numbers are falling. At the height of the club, there were 60 members. Now the active membership is between 20 and 25 people. The average age of a volunteer, 70. It appears young people aren't interested in community service. The uh, emphasis with two, two, two people working in the family now has, has made a big difference on a time commitment. Cornboro, now retired, adds his former employer encouraged volunteerism and even paid membership dues, a practice that's much rarer now. Still Still, the drive is on to find new Kiwanis members. By nature, a reasonably selfish person, I do things because I like to do them, not because I feel I have to do them. And at the end of the day, I can go home and say, you know, I enjoyed doing that. It, it, uh, it, it benefits somebody else, but uh, it, uh, I got something out of it as well. While the pavilion will change hands, the Kiwanis Club continues its community service with the Willows Tea House and a low-cost housing complex for seniors. In Victoria, Mary Beth Burton, A News.